Uh, so with that, Sean, do you want to kick us off? Uh, sure. L let me start with a peer. Sure. Um, the UN, uh, your counterpart of the UN was saying today that uh, they're still looking operationally in terms of how to deliver aid, um, that there are concerns about safety, about the logistics, and paraphrasing of, of uh, to the UN workers there in Gaza, even if aid comes off the pier. Uh, do you think these can be sorted out? I mean, I, I know that the, the pier is anchored today, but are you confident that delivery can actually happen and those issues will be sorted out? We, absolutely. So um, we intend to work with the totality of the UN family uh, to make sure that uh, uh, aid uh, can get where it needs to go. Specifically, um, Sean, after the commodities are ashore, the UN through the logistics cluster will receive the aid uh, for humanitarian organizations, including uh, ones, as I just said, uh, that are trusted partners of the US government to distribute aid uh, inside Gaza. But, but do you think they do have those safety assurances that they're they're ready to go as far as the U.S. is? is we're continuing to have those conversations. From our point of view, uh, we believe that this is ready uh, to to go and for aid to start flowing um, uh, as soon as possible. And on a similar note, uh, Rafa, of course, is closed. And you, you spoke about opening yeah. uh, the, the Rafa crossing, and you spoke about opening uh, further crossings. Uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu, I think it was yesterday, had some choice words for, for Egypt, saying that Egypt needs to, to act to open it. Uh, Egypt and, and also has responded quite forcefully, saying that uh, basically you know, Trump members don't really want to go essentially through an Israeli checkpoint to get in. Uh, how confident are you that, that these issues can be resolved? Is the U.S. trying to do anything to solve this? Well, we're certainly confident that they can be resolved because uh, they have been resolved at various, various instances over the course of this conflict. Um, the U.S. supports Israel's right to defend itself and uh, support taking every uh, feasible measure to protect civilians. Um, we are continue to be concerned uh, that travel uh, and the flow of fuel of aid into Gaza via Rafah has come to a complete halt. Uh, but we are continuing to work with the government of Egypt, with the government of Israel, to do everything we can to make sure that this uh, gets open as soon as possible. You've heard me talk a little bit about this before, that there are, of course, legitimate security and operational uh, concerns uh, uh, that are legitimate, and we're continuing to work through those processes. And do you, I mean, basically, do you think, do you agree that Egypt should just open it up? Uh, or do you think it's more complicated than that? Or do you think uh, it's really worth uh, Obviously, Sean, it is, it is uh, more complicated than just a simple, they should just open it up. But this is something that we're continuing to work directly with uh, our partners in Egypt and our partners in Israel. There are obviously uh, legitimate issues that need to be ironed out. Uh, the important thing is, and this is something we know that our partners in Israel and our partners in Egypt understand, Rafa is an important conduit for aid for fuel and for every day uh, that it is closed, um, that is uh, aid and fuel not getting in uh, through that conduit. Uh, just, just one.